Hey everybody, it's Doug Schau for 3 Max Oceanside at MakeManyourHome.com. In this week's episode, we're going to talk about buying a home during a pandemic. With COVID-19 here, it's made uh, the whole world just more difficult, and especially buying a house. There's a lot of things to be concerned about and to be cautious about, so we're going to talk about all those things. So let's do this. All right, everybody. Uh, again, today we're going to talk about buying a home during a pandemic. You know, with COVID-19 here, it's made a lot of things more difficult, but we've had to pivot and adjust, you know, work with what we have because people still need to buy houses even during this pandemic. So we're going to talk about a few things to be cautious around, you know, and just some overall things about buying a home during a pandemic. First thing we talked about is social distancing. Very important, of course, here. You know, when buying a house in today's day and age, you know, we got a lot of great technology to use. Um, to our advantage, you know, with social distancing, you know, obviously we always want to wear a mask. In a lot of cases, wear gloves, uh, maybe even uh, foot protection. You know, we uh, I have them in my car uh, or my truck all the time to be safe and healthy that way. And then, uh, you know, social distancing is also part of that, you know, taking a lot of precautions there. But with social distancing, we can do things like, you know, Zoom videos, you know, either live out of state and can't make it here, but you still need to buy a house. I've uh, actually sold a, a bunch of houses in the last uh, year or so during this pandemic that from people who you know, never saw it until they actually, after they closed on it. Even if you live here or live nearby, but you're still you know nervous about coming out or you're a high risk person, you don't wanna be exposed to it. You can do like Zoom meetings, uh, FaceTime, things like that to be able to look at houses. There's a lot of virtual tours already online you know, there. There's a product called Matterport, which is a 3D tour of homes. These things are really great, I got it these 3D home tours. I've done a lot of them uh, for listings that I have. And as a buyer, it really gives you an opportunity to see the house as it is. You can zoom in on things. It's like you're there walking through it. I believe you could even put on some of those like goggles and be able to, you know, walk through it that way as well. Those things are really great for being able to make a decision on buying a house while practicing social distancing and taking some really good precautions and being cautious when you're looking at homes. Uh, let's see, some other things that you wanna be, uh, watch out for is, uh, you know, of course we talk about wearing a mask. We also talk about sanitizing. Make sure you have hand sanitizer. If you're not gonna wear gloves, make sure you sanitize on the way in and on the way out. Try to avoid touching things wherever possible. You know, a lot of uh, houses that I go look at, the sellers or the broker that's listing it are nice enough to kind of open up as many doors as possible. So you're able to walk in the house not really touch a lot of things and be able to see the house and make a decision without putting your health at risk. One other thing that we wanted to touch on is lending. And uh, I've done a lot of videos with uh, Casey Hamlin, uh, who I work with at North Point Mortgage. What to look out for during a pandemic when you're getting a mortgage. Steady employment is important, of course. If you've just been laid off or if you laid off a few months ago and already landed a job, I recommend you know talking to your mortgage broker, see how that impacts you. Good credit is always important, but maybe more important now during this time that we're in. Make sure that you're keeping track of your credit. And uh, if you hit a bad time and it's really hard to keep up on your credit, um, look for some help and see, you know, see what we can do, you know, what somebody can do to help you out and continue that good credit that you, that you have. Um, and then also uh, talk to a lender, you know, make sure you have your budget in order. If you're in an industry like the, uh, the restaurant industry, for example, the hospitality industry, you know, you're going to want to talk to a lender and make sure that, you know, you got all your ducks in a row as far as uh, making the bank feel comfortable that your job is going to be there when, you know, after they close and you're not going to lose your job during this process, because that is a concern. Concern, and a lot of banks are really kind of tightening up on that. So if you're in a, in a high risk industry right now, definitely gonna to wanna to talk to your lender and make sure everything's in order and, and, and everything is looking good to go. So uh, hopefully this helps when buying a house during a pandemic, it can be difficult, but it can be done. Stay safe, stay healthy out there uh, when you're doing it. And, uh, and let me know if you have any questions, put a comment below. If you have any comments or questions, uh, send me an email, hit me up on Instagram or Facebook. And remember, if you make Maine your home, you don't have to do it alone.